Hi kids and welcome to Arts and Crafts. Today we're going to make something you can use a lot if you're learning how to tell the time. What we need for today's activity is one paper plate, two strips of black construction paper, split pins, a pair of scissors, red acrylic paint, glue, a paintbrush, a black marker, a paper punch, and a toothpick. The great thing about this clock is that the hands move around freely and that helps you practice telling the time. And right now, the clock tells me it's time to start. So we'll cut two hands of the clock with pointed arrow tips, a short hour hand and a longer minute hand. Place the bottom ends together and punch a hole like this. Now for the paint job. Paint the paper plates in one solid color. I've used red, but you can use whichever color is your favorite as long as the numbers that you'll write in black stand out against the background color. Make sure you color the entire plate and don't leave even a speck of white. You can use the paint directly from the jar and there's no need to add water. Now wait for it to dry. After it's dried, poke a hole in the center of the plate using a toothpick. There, a neat little hole. Now with the black marker, write the numbers. It's a good idea to write out 12, 3, 6 and 9 at the four main points of the clock first. And you can fill in the rest of the numbers later. When you've got the four main points, you can go ahead and fix the hands of the clock. Take the split pin, insert it through the hands, and then through the hole in the center of the plate. Turn the paper plate over and spread the split pins like this to fix the hands. There you go! Your very own funky clock is ready! Don't forget to write all the other numbers and decorate it in any way you like to suit your room. Now wasn't that simple? See you soon!